Hi there everyone, Lori Baraku here, and I'd love to share with you my predictions for the week of September 6, 2020. And I'm using my Gilded Royale Tarot deck by Sarah Marchetti. And I will give my cards a shuffle, and then I will select three cards, and we'll see what the collective energies are for all of us this week. Alrighty, let's see what we've got. Alrighty, so... Um, the first message that comes through is we've got good news, bad news, good news. So it does look like, yeah, we've got that tower card. And I would say that would be the card for the year for 2020. So the tower represents the energy of things kind of falling apart kind of crumbling. But the good news is that whatever is falling apart didn't have a really good foundation in our lives. So it's kind of collapsing. And then it helps us to rebuild, to help us rebuild based upon energetically and consciousness wise, what is for our highest and best good. So yeah, we're gonna see some things kind of shift a little bit more so this week. What's important is that we try not to allow ourselves to go into that freak out mode of, oh my God, here we go again. How is it gonna look at, how is this gonna look in the end? The other thing that Spirit is um, bringing through right now is that we're kind of um, not numb, but we're a little bit dulled to, our senses are a little bit dulled because there's been so much that has taken place this year. So we're kind of like, yeah, okay, it's 2020. Let's see what else happens. Kind of like how the government snuck in there. Oh yeah, we have proof. We're going to say um, that we have proof that there have been aliens who have uh, visited us here on this planet. Yeah, they snuck that in because we are already, our senses are dulled. And we're like, okay, all right, we knew that. All right, on to the next thing, right? So um, this definitely is a year of shift and change. I mean, every year is, but we're seeing um, uh, the change coming in with more severity. However, at this point, now as we're turning the corner, moving into fall, we're starting to see the design, the divine design of these changes. And so in all of that, that's a huge blessing. The first card we have, it was the sun. And the sun is the happiness card. It's joy. It's that warm, good, fuzzy, warm, good feeling that we have. So this week, um, again, we'll start to see things shift. And so maybe we feel, okay, I've got a little bit of a handle on things. And then spirit says, okay, now we're going to change things. You've got a great attitude. You're very optimistic. Let's, let's introduce some other tweaks and changes that are necessary for your evolution. And we say, okay, this is not the worst case scenario. I've been through a lot this year. And I know by now that I can trust in the timing, the divine timing and influence of my guides and spirit. And then the last card that we have is that Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands signify a rapid movement. So if we can continue to remain in the space of trust and allow spirit to guide us, it doesn't mean we take a step back and we just say, okay, whatever needs to happen, happens. No, it, it's about also being an active participant, seeing that things are shifting and saying, okay, it's because there's something else that is better in a, that's in a better alignment for me. And I'm going to go with the flow and I'm going to try not to freak out too much, right? Remember, this is all divine design. Alrighty, everyone, have a beautiful week. Happy Labor Day, and I look forward to seeing you soon. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube page. I will be sharing um, weekly messages uh, according to the astrological signs. So click sub subscribe so that you know when my next event is coming up. I'll see you soon, everybody. Namaste.